Hey guys, today's video is going to be my June TBR review and let me tell you this has been the best month yet. So I'm like super pumped and not that it super matters because some of it you won't be able to tell but I have all of this stuff on my face so I've been using these non-stop. These are like some of my favorite products for the summer so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First I'm going to start with the Kardashian Beauty Gleam Club Eye Metal Stick. This does not have a color name on it anywhere. It's like this pinky color, and it's so pretty. Um, it looks like this. It's kind of like a pinky champagne color. It's got a lot of shimmer in it, but what I like to do with it is layer it under, um, like put this all over my lid and then my inner corner, and then put like a matte color over it so that some of the shimmer peeks through, but it still looks mostly matte, and then obviously touch up my inner corner a little bit too. But I just love this, and it's really good if you just want to throw it in your purse and like your inner corner is running out and you can touch up. And something I love, well there's two th other things I love about this. The first thing is it's fairly long lasting. I would say this is equally as long lasting as like on oily lids, like for me. Um, of like the Maybelline color tattoo. I love the packaging of this because I love being able to just twist up and swipe it on and then you kind of just blend it out with your finger. It takes like two seconds. So if I can find these I'm probably going to be picking up more colorful ones because I feel like it'd be so nice to go underneath your lid and stuff. But one of my favorite things about this is how it feels. I know it's going to sound weird. It's really cold and really wet feeling when you put it on your eyelid. I can't explain it. It's not wet and it isn't cold, but that's the whatever is in here, that's how it feels on your eye and it's it's weird but nice to put on your eye. Um I just really love it. I was super shocked I was judging this by its name. I'll go with that. Um before I tried it and I was shocked by this product. I love it. I would definitely repurchase. I would buy multiple colors, so kind of exciting. And I'm going to go with the next thing is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. I bought this and I'm just really skeptical about putting things on my face because I'm worried I'm going to break out. And I heard a bad review about this. So I was like, oh, I never want to try it. Um, I've used a fairly decent amount of it. I love this. I love to layer this. Um, I love the way it feels. I love everything about it. Um, I've put this on a beauty blender to blend in my makeup. I've sprayed it on this brush to go all over my face. I put it directly on my face. I like to do it right before I start my makeup and then after I have everything but my eyes done. Um, and then I go from there. But I love it. I think it definitely prolongs the look of my makeup. But it doesn't help keep oil away if that makes sense. Like if I blot I look brand new which I think is with the help of this product, but it def I still need to blot. It doesn't like make my oil stay away, but I I do like this. I would purchase the full size of this. I don't know if I'll need it. Like two or three sprays of this does my whole entire face. It has a really good sprayer. So I, I was very impressed with it. I've been using it like every day. And then the next thing is this Be A Bombshell Blush in Beach Please. That's a lot of bees. Um, it was a crazy color and I was like, ooh, I can't even, I can't even put this on my face. But I'm actually wearing it right now, just like, I usually just take my blush brush. It looks like, it's that flat one that looks like a paintbrush that so doesn't pick up a lot of product. And I dab it in, and then I like, tap it off like 45 times. And then I'd start back here and just kind of like, touch, and then blend it. And it's not too extreme at all. Um, I mean, it probably could be. But I've really loved using it. I think it's so healthy and nice looking for summer. Um, but yeah, I've I've used this blush like a dozen times, which for me, especially with blush, is weird because I oh I do not stick with the color I like I like. play around. And then we have the Jordana Easy Liner. This is for eyes. Um, it's retractable pencil in blue divine. It looks dark, and I thought it was gonna be dark, but it's not dark. It's like a bright. A bright blue and so I was like oh my god I never used it I love this in my waterline especially for summer I think it's so pretty it's not too much but it adds something and I think it makes my eyes look really green and I get compliments every single time I wear it so people are always like oh I really love your eyeliner so um, yes I love this I'm not 
The formula is decent, but I usually bring this with me and have to touch up several times, which I feel like you have to do with liner on your waterline anyway, so it doesn't super bother me. But I, just the colors, they have like 49, not really, but they have a lot of colors. Uh, so it's so fun. So I have, I think I have five or six of these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying out more colors and be using them more often. They're fairly creamy. Like, they go on easy. So, not too big of a deal. They don't have a sharpener though, and my tip is a little lopsided because I've been using it, so when it gets flat that might be kind of annoying, but so far I super love this this color, the formula is decent, the lasting power is so-so, so I love using that. And then the very last thing is this Pixie Subtly Sun-Touched Bronzer. I was worried that this was going to be so light, um, and it's... I think it's matte. It doesn't... Yeah, that is matte. It's not... It doesn't really have a sheen at all, but it's just so light. And, um, like, someone left in the comments to use it as a blush, and I didn't hate it as a blush, but this color, I think, on me as a blush was not... It looked bad on my face, I'll just say that. I think I might be too... Uh, a weird skin color <laughs> to use it as blush on my cheeks, but I... You can't really tell. I mean, you can tell I'm kind of contoured, but... For a really easy, quick, like, summer contour, like, tinted moisturizer, put this on. I can't leave the house. People can't leave the house without brows. I cannot leave the house without contour. I feel round. I don't know. So, um, I've been using this, like, nonstop, like, super quick. You do not have to be sloppy. I mean, you can, like, swirl your brush, like, all up in it. And, like, it's not going to look like it's too much, which I kind of really like. It's not super pigmented, but if you're, like, afraid of bronzer, I feel like this is such a good one, like... It's just easy. So I've kind of loved using it. It's become like one of my go-tos just for the summer, like non-bronzer bronzer. <laughs> just throw it on really quick for a contour. I don't think I would repurchase, but I don't hate it. I don't regret getting it in my Ipsy bag or anything. So yeah, that is it for June TBRs. And keep an eye out for my July TBR haul coming up tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll see ya.